Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and I just wanted to give you a heads up on a circulating scam that is asking you for KYC information in relation to MetaMask. This is a scam and never respond to any of these texts or emails. I'm going to show you how it works so you can avoid it. So let's get started. All right, so I have a text here that was sent to my phone and they're claiming to be from MetaMask support and they're telling me that I need to uh, complete KYC verifications. Uh, this is a scam. MetaMask will never ask you to complete KYC verifications because MetaMask is a non-custodial wallet. It is not a cryptocurrency exchange, so it never is going to need KYC verifications. So this is an example of uh, a text. Now it's interesting because I've never given my phone number to MetaMask. This is probably just a spam to just about anybody that has a phone and they're just hoping that uh, somebody that they send this to happens to also be using MetaMask. So don't think that somehow they've linked your a MetaMask to your phone number, right? This is kind of just a random spam. Uh, this also can occur in the form of an email and the email might look something like this. Notice how it looks very official. It has the MetaMask logo and uh, it tells you that in order to comply with regulations that they're required to gather this information. Uh, and that if you don't do it by a certain date, they're going to disable your wallet. This is just trying to scare you into giving up this information. Now, there are two ways that they could scam you. Number one, they might ask you to give up personal information, which then they can sell or use in additional phishing campaigns against you, right? Once they get more information about you, they can target you even more. But the worst thing you could do would be to enter your backup phrase, your 12 word backup phrase to your MetaMask wallet or your 24 word backup phrase to your ledger device. You don't ever want to do that. Uh, MetaMask is a non-custodial wallet. It looks like this and make sure if you download it, you go to MetaMask.io. That is the official MetaMask wallet. And you'll notice that once you get started with MetaMask, it's going to ask you to either import a wallet that you have that's existing or set up a brand new wallet. And that's it. This wallet is completely under your control. You control the private keys and it is not a cryptocurrency exchange. So MetaMask is never going to ask you to complete KYC verification. Now, I've got several videos on how you set up MetaMask properly, along with a ledger device so that it's safe and secure. So I'm going to put links to those videos down in the description below and up in the corner so that you can properly set up your MetaMask wallet. And remember, never click a link that tells you that you need to provide KYC identity information to MetaMask, right? MetaMask is not a cryptocurrency exchange. It's a non-custodial wallet. So please be on the lookout for any of these scams. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.